mean, first, you gotta have everything's gotta be equal. You know, your left side, your right side's gotta be equal length. All it takes is a couple scoopfuls of water in that, and you lose a lot of, uh, a lot of buoyancy. Well, my name is Jeremy Moranville, engineering student at Bristol Community College, and this is my boat. It's just cardboard, duct tape, and plastic bags. So structurally, you've got cardboard and duct tape, and then for buoyancy, plastic bags. Right here, I am sealing up the nose cone. Well, I mean, this this is engineering. I mean, what I'm doing right here is hands-on physical fabrication. Now, I stumbled upon this a couple years ago. It was a fun little project. I'm actually like a design fabricator, so this is kind of right up my alley. This brings it all together. This turns it from a piece of cardboard to something that you could float with. I'd say with this design, giving my teammate 80s, 80s Wheaties in the morning, as says I, I think we're a contender for first place. Like I said, he's definitely gonna eat his Wheaties. He ain't gonna do this on, on no McDonald's for breakfast. The water's nice and cool, it's a hot day. And it was the Cardboard Duct Tape Wait, Canoe Race, fourth annual. You're only allowed to use cardboard, duct tape, and trash bags, and you have to put them in some order to make a canoe. Exhausting. No cards are on deep this year. Anybody can build the boat. There is actually very little science behind these boats. If it was just me, definitely float. With two people, it could sink. Good. I'm a good enough swimmer that I'm not worried about it. All right, boats, take your marks and go. As far as the build went, the boat worked great. Um, we took the best time, 147. It was fulfilling, yeah, because you know we had over 300 pounds centered in the middle of this cardboard boat, and you know it didn't it didn't crack in half, it didn't, it didn't bend. In. You know, obviously Jeremy saw the design and seeing it put together and getting it in the water was a really good experience. It's my second year doing it, so you know it's a fun time, definitely. If you have the chance, come out and build a boat. So we are giving you the Perseverance Award. Yeah. The reason why we do this this race. We like the community building we, we do. Students get to know other students. Uh, you get to have a good time. One, you, you build that sense of community with the students because we're a two-year school and it's everybody's racing to get their degree done and you don't really have anything that gets students connected with other students besides classes. And this is something that everybody comes out to, everybody watches. You get to actually meet your admins. You get to meet the faculty outside the classroom. It just it really promotes us. It promotes us, promotes the school, it helps build awareness for engineering, for science, technology, math. 